Hi there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniela and I'm a content creator here at one.com. In today's video, we'll guide you through the life cycle of a domain. We'll be showing you the entire process from registrations to expiration for a one.com domain. Whether you're new to domains or just curious, stick around as we break it down using one.com's domain management tools. And don't worry if your domain doesn't use the .com extension, as the process is the same for all generic extensions and largely similar for many other extensions. And you learn a lot in this video, no matter what. If you still need more details about your specific domain extension after watching this video, you can find many answers online or you're welcome to contact one.com support. Okay, let's get started. Every domain begins its life with a registration. When you register a domain with one.com, you're securing the right to use that domain for a time, typically one year. During registration, you'll choose your domain name and select an extension like .com, .net, or even niche ones like .shop. Once registered, the domain is activated within 24 hours, typically much faster than that, and it's officially yours to use. You can start building your website or set up services like email. Once your domain is active, you can manage important settings like DNS, subdomains, and redirects, as well as security features such as DNSSEC. DNS, Domain Name System, is what connects your domain name to the servers that hosts your website. With one.com, you can easily edit DNS records, create subdomains, or redirect your domain traffic. A year later, it's time for your domain to be renewed. Typically, you don't have to do anything. If your payment details are up to date, we'll handle everything for you. Otherwise, we'll let you know well in advance so you can avoid any potential disruptions to your website or email services. Be mindful that if you were to cancel your domain, your domain enters the next stage of its life cycle, expiration. Once your domain expires, it enters a grace period of 30 days. During this time, one.com holds the domain for you, allowing you to renew it without losing ownership. Note that your domain will not be working for your website or email during the grace period. Once the grace period has ended, it will enter a redemption period where it can still be recovered at an extra cost. If your domain isn't renewed within the redemption period, it will be marked as pending deletion and will be deleted after five days, after which it's available for others to register. At that point, anyone can claim it. If you still want to use it, you'll have to register it again, which can be risky as someone else might already have grabbed it. And there you have it, a complete guide to the domain lifecycle with one.com, from registration to deletion. Understanding this process helps you manage your domains effectively. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.